Hi everyone, I'm back. This is video number five as part of my Edith Holden tribute, my study of her works, and I'm working on the covers. So in the last video, I covered the two um, hard cover books, one being the Edith Holden book itself, and I've removed the pages out of the actual book, and that's the cover, and that's all the pages that are left. And this was just a cookbook, but I like its size. Hang on a minute, I've got to fiddle here. This is just a cookbook, but I really liked its size because the Edith Holden book pages are quite an unusual size. So it certainly had plenty of room for them to sit nicely within it. So that was a, a definite. And um, now I'm working on a couple paper bag journal covers. So this was quite a large bag that I've cut in half. So if you want to see the start of this, go back to the first video. No, the second video. The first video I talk about the books themselves. I think it's the second video where I start to sort of hone my thoughts into what I'm going to do with the covers. So this one, um, now let me just think, what am I doing with this one? I'm going to have the edges here, either a tuck or a flip out of some description, yet to be decided. But for now, I could just lay down some fabrics, I think. Let's do the cover. Let's put it this way. And it's just going to be a case of add the fabrics and trim them off. I'm not going to put too much thought into it because I can always cover the fabrics with other fabrics as I build layers but at least I want to get down the start of it and I want to sew around them so I need to be aware that if there is a pocket which there won't be on this I don't think it'll be just the flip out sides so I can sew right around the perimeter there's a tear there so let's just follow that lead and Tear it. Decision made. And we can pop that to one side. Okay. Don't ask me the name of this fabric because I picked it up in a garage sale. A lady that was making children's clothing had a big garage sale because she was retiring or moving, something like that. I can't remember now. And... Um, she had put together some little packs of fabrics that were like remnants and they're perfect for people like us because we sort of just want snippets of things i'm going to trim that there now this one's going to feel quite rustic i want it to be a real field journal but you know a hint of a lady so I'm just going to apply the glue and just do a little bit of it because I can always come back and apply more glue once I get my fabric into position. So let's have a look at our design. What have we got here? What would I see? It's a turned over edge. Does that matter? I think I'll go that way. Probably overthinking it. That's it. Lovely. So I can just pull that back a little bit and carry on with the glue. I think paper bag journals are one of my favourites because they're very random. You can sort of do anything. So I'm a bit of a fan of a paper bag journal, especially if the theme is nature. 
because you can add layers upon layers of elements. Creases out, make sure everything is holding. I might just use my burnishing tool just to get that glue to really penetrate the fibers of the fabric. It's a bit late once you've got bubbles. If you can just get that glue, just to just sneak a little bit into the fibres, it'll pay off in the long run. That's good. I like that. Okay, so now coming to this side, I just would like to add a bit of this check fabric. I think it matches really well. The lady actually paired these two together, and I like it. I think she did good. Being it's a check, why not take advantage of the check to give you a straight line? I don't think this will tear. It'd be good if it did. It'd make it feel... No, it's not tearing. So I'm going to use that line. Oh, my eyes are going crazy looking at this. Oh, goodness me. It's strobing big time. Okay. Concentrating, can you hear it? Okay. So let's put that piece there. Cut it a little bit short, but I think it'll be okay. Now I do need to decide if there's going to be pockets because at the moment the piece is open top and bottom and it whoops and it's time to seal it shut which can happen with the sewing machine but I would like to put some glue in there as well just to help with the rigidity of the cover there we go so I don't think I'll have a pocket it's going to be flips is where I want to go with it. So I need to actually open this up and get some glue in here so it is nice and secure and glued down. So I'll just get my paper scissors. I might, um, instead of cutting it on the side and weakening the side, I'm actually going to just cut it straight through because There'll be fabric or paper come through here anyway. So I can just glue it down and cover it, no problems. So if you were going to make a pocket inside the cover itself, like I think I will with the other one, you would... Um, have to take that into consideration when adhering your two pieces together. Now, this is quite thick paper bag. So technically you probably wouldn't even need to glue these two together. You could split it in half and get more journals. 
because it's really good paper for that. So I'm just working my way back to that edge because I want that to be nice and flat. Where's my little tool? Okay. That's good. And then we'll come back to this side and start gluing down. Goodness me, there's some paper there we don't need. So let's get rid of that. It's just excess. Now I've got glue everywhere. To be expected. Get my wet ones and just clean my table. Oh, something I set up last night is a Amazon affiliated list. So I order the odd thing from Amazon. Not a lot of things, to be honest, because sometimes you can get them cheaper elsewhere. Or you can go directly to the small business. And let me tell you, I much, much prefer that. But I was reading through this affiliate um set up where I can create a list of items that I use. Now some of these items I have actually purchased from Amazon. Other items I haven't. I've bought them from um, local craft stores. For example on my list you will see the Stamperia papers. I love Stamperia papers especially if I'm doing a journal for a friend that wants a particular theme, they are a really good way to get you going. And there's tags and journal elements. And so if you're not familiar with the Stamperia range of papers and you get a chance, have a little look at them because, um, yeah, there's some fantastic themes in amongst them. So I've listed them all in there. And most of them, probably two, I've never used but I do own them and they're sort of in my stash ready for a, a, a special order I think one's called blue that's one I haven't used um, and the other thing I then just typed in Tim Holtz to Amazon and I found everything that they have in the way of products from Tim Holtz now I did notice that in Australia Amazon they are coming from craft online and I have a feeling that if you were to go directly to Craft Online, you would probably save a few dollars. Having said that, Craft Online would charge you freight where Amazon doesn't. So buyer beware is all I'll say. The list is just items that I use. And everyone does ask me, you know, where did you get this? Where did you get that? So as I buy things, they will pop up there. As I think of things that I use they will pop up there if Amazon sell them. So now just be aware that if you did click on my list and you made your way to Amazon and you had a look at the items, but then you went on to buy, I don't know, dog food instead, whatever. Um, I believe I get a small, very small commission because of my list has got you to them. I think that's how it works. And the same goes for an item that I may have on my favorites list. I've called it Corinne's favorite tools or something like that. And the link is in the description. It'll be on all my videos from this point, just so that when I um, refer to something and it may not be on the list, I can, um, uh, at least add it because what you can do then is have a look at the description of that item and then cut that or copy that out of that list on the Amazon page and take it to general Google, type it in and you will find heaps of other sellers that will sell those items. So let's be honest, you know, you've got a 
shop around these days. And there's been many times where I've found that, what am I doing here? That's a perfect spot for a piece of lace. Why glue that down? I'm just going to get rid of that. So yeah, let's be honest, you can um, go to Amazon, but you can probably buy it cheaper elsewhere. Especially like craft online, they're worth a, a look because I noticed that a lot of the Tim Holtz, Stamperia papers, things like that, were all from craft online. So they're selling to us via Amazon. And I'm sure Amazon's taking their bit from the process. So, yeah, the list purely is um, to, um, what, do you, what, what, how am I trying to say? To give you the description of the item I'm talking about that you can then cut and paste it over to Google to maybe find it elsewhere cheaper or order it through Amazon if it's something that you think you can use in your craft room. So please don't think that it's a way of me to monetize. That's not my gig. I'm not interested. I can now turn on um, the ad, the ads and things. I'm not going to. Not interested. My videos are very chatty, if you haven't noticed. And there's nothing worse when you're telling a story or you're listening to a story and someone butts in. So I think those ads are like that. They're butting in. I'm on a roll and suddenly, oh, here we go. We've got an ad for house insurance or the Commonwealth Bank or it just annoys me. I, I've got nothing against the channels that switch it on because um, go for it. And they're probably channels that their whole income stream is based on their business. So their papers, their, their advice, their videos, the tutorials, you know, it's all about a business for them. Fantastic. And it's great that you can use advertisements via the way that you um, show your products or whatever you do. Um, it's fantastic. So I'm, I'm going to let that dry. I really want to fold it and think about the inside, but I'm not. I'm going to let it dry because I just want that to fold nicely and it needs to just sit flat. So, yeah, I am I think it's amazing that Amazon, not Amazon, YouTube allows monetization of videos, especially if it's part of your whole business. It's not part of my business plan for myself. I have enough going on in the business world with my Christmas shops without having to worry about all of this. But when I saw what the Amazon playlist that, well, it's like a wish list that I can create in my Amazon ordering area. And then I cut and paste, I share the link to that playlist on the bottom of my videos. So you guys can click on it and have a little look and see things that I use and may have ordered um, but by all means, if you can find it cheaper elsewhere, and number one rule, if you can spend your hard-earned coins with a small business, go, go, go. Do not buy it. Look, they're going to ban me. They're in the process of approving me. So they're going to hear me now and go, no, nah, she's out. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Now, this, this one, I want to... I want to have a pocket coming into it. So A, I need a nice edge and that's a bit ratty down there. So we will not be having access point at this edge is what I'm trying to say. And I need to sew around it, but I don't want to sew my pocket closed. So the whole gluing it together like I just did won't be happening until I get all my fabrics on, stitch around it, inside and out fabrics, or paper and fabric inside out, all on, then I'll stitch around it, then I'll glue it together. That then gives me uh, my pocket. And um, how am I going to do this one? I need to concentrate for a moment. I think it's going to be like that, yeah. And there'll be a pocket in the top here. We could even have a pocket at the back. 
But uh, at the moment, that's where we're at. So how am I going to do this one? I really like that floral fabric, but it's probably going to be covered. I'm looking at this fabric. If something slides in here and that was there, let's say this is a journal card, it's going to be covered but revealed when the journal card comes out. So is that a problem? Probably not. Am I better making a journal card feature piece out of this fabric? And then maybe having this fabric on the inside so I can see it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So therefore the fabric that's going here is going to be a little bit more generic. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to do and what I might do is not put the fabric in here because it makes it hard to slide things in you sort of need something to shimmy against so all right so the piece of fabric I'm going to cut is going to be is that double nope is going to be there and once again we have a stripe so let's take advantage of that. So yeah, did I cover everything on my Amazon, play, not playlist, wish list? It's the items that I use within my world of crafting, some of which I have ordered through Amazon, and most of them I've actually ordered or bought in my travels at craft fairs and and um, I might make this go all the way. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Yeah, so take a look. They're just things that I find that are handy. And if there's something there you like, like I said, cut and paste, take the description elsewhere and you may just save a few dollars. You may not, like unfortunately, probably to the detriment of society, Amazon is um, everywhere. It's the new way that we do business, I believe. And coming from someone that owns retail stores, Ma and Pa retail bricks and mortar stores, Amazon is a serious threat. Having said that, you can't go wrong with good old fashioned service and with a smile and a business will succeed even when the big boys come into town to some degree. When the big boys start attacking, gee, Amazon is not going to approve my affiliated list. <laughs> They're going to say, she is trouble. She has a bad attitude and that'll be me gone. So if the list disappears in the next video, they've got me. They've taken me away. They've silenced me. <laughs> so that I think will work. And that is going to go from there. All the way through I've cut it a little bit longer than I need over here only because I sort of want to work my way along and I'd rather have that bit extra than um, come up a bit short that's a bit of a gaggy edge there I can't believe I folded this in half to cut the two journal elements and they're different sizes how does that happen Yeah, so take a look. The one item in there that I haven't yet really spoken about on any of my videos because I didn't know the exact name and where I got it and I couldn't remember is the container that holds my beads. It is there. It's not cheap. Please don't hold it against me that I've bought a couple of these things. But they are so handy. It um, has got a clear plastic top. It holds your beads in little containers that you can sort of take your little itty bitty container out, pop it with your project 
and you've got your beads handy. I've already forgotten the name of it. I keep thinking it's Elizabeth Arden, but it's not. It's something else. These are the little, those are the little containers. So they're fantastic for storing your beads. Let me just grab one. And that's the container. So you can sort of pop all your beads in, see them at a glance, grab the ones that you want to work with, like these ones here must have been recent. They need to go back in their hole. It just unclips and reclips. Now, I haven't seen them anywhere else. And if I have, when I bought those, they were even more expensive than Amazon. But if you do need a good bead solution, yeah highly recommend them what are they called let me just go to a video and have a little look it's a Liz it's not elizabeth arden that's cosmetics what am i doing i'm looking for youtube oh the internet's slow oh, i think i've got glue on my fingers and Okay, let's have a little look in the description. So when you go to the description under my video, I've listed um, all of the books, uh, where I got my dried flowers, uh, all of the Etsy stores that I buy my um, papers from, the Parisian Essence videos there, and you'll see in amongst my texts, uh, these are my recommendations purchases from Amazon my favorite things and then there's a link so you click on that is it even going to work oh goodness me it's not letting me link from my editing so if i go into my amazon here we go and i'm sure there it is elizabeth ward that's it there see the price of it oh goodness me crazy but i tell you it's not a bad option so anyway i got sidetracked so that's the name of them you often see them pop up with the girls when they're crafting i know rachel has a couple of them and she swears by them as well <clears throat> so if you've got a birthday coming up and you want a treat tell everyone to go to amazon and buy you an Elizabeth Ward tray, storage tray, because you won't regret it. Okay, so I'm just working through adhering the fabric. This one's got quite moody, but that's all right. This is going to be like a field journal. I think it's going to feel just gorgeous. Once we add the lace and... This fabric is from a shirt of my husband's. Don't, um, don't disregard any fabrics or clothing that is heading to the op shop from your husband's um, cupboard because often the lads wear, um, you know, these types of colours. So I could trim that just past that stripe. So, yeah, I'm renowned for going through the pile and pulling out any checks, any stripes and adding them to my stash because it just gives you another element in your, in your fabrics. Because I'm always picking out florals, but I don't often buy checks, stripes and plaids, things like that. So hubby shirts. There's a couple in my husband's wardrobe at the moment that um, <laughs> I've got my eye on. Much to his disgust. I said to him, he's going to just be missing a sleeve one day. I'm going to have a project and need... I could have trimmed that a little bit more, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Lovely. Now I'm pretty sure I want to have this floral inside. 
do I want it all the way? Let's see how much I've got here. Oh, it's so pretty. How do I want it to appear? It's a, a linen, a French linen. So beautiful. I think I'll put it all away. That edge will fold over and it'll probably have lace on it. So there's no floral element there. I might just glue it down and then trim it. I'd hate to cut it and the fabric, I can see that the stitching in that fabric is warping a little bit to my left. So I'm going to actually glue it down and then trim it back. I would hate to come up short. I'd rather it be, you know, spot on. So if you're out there and you're not a fan of Amazon, please don't hold it against me. Trust me, I'm not a fan either. But sometimes they're the only place we can get something we are wanting. <clears throat> and then maybe one day someone else will get it. And when we go to reorder, we don't need to go there. We can always hope. They do employ a lot of people. Whether they look after their people, that's debatable. Little stories you see pop up around the place. Let's hope the watchdogs are watching them and keeping our, our friends and family safe. Okay, I'm leaving those little threads there because I like them. Let's go again. But I can assure you I will not be turning on the ads for my channel because the few miserable cents they're going to give me is not worth our sanity. And I hate being interrupted when I'm talking. <laughs> so that was an easy decision for me. But, you know, like I said, if it's part of your business, this whole industry, by all means, girls, turn them on because it is fantastic that that ability is there for you to earn some additional income. And I know ads are annoying and we all hate them, but they are a necessary evil for businesses. Without advertising, you know, your business is going to be a lot slower in its growth. And I can vouch for that. For many, many years, we were advertising on radio and TV, and I have invested thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars into the channels in Australia, Channel 9, Channel 7, Channel 10, Courier Mail, so print media, magazines, everything. Done it all. Radio, I've tried it all. And it was necessary to build our brand. It's Business 101. But now I'm fortunate enough that I can take the foot off that pedal a little bit because we've built a name, built a reputation and they find me and it's word of mouth you know everyone's got christmas up at their party on christmas day their tree the decorations their napkins where did you buy that at the christmas show so i'm very fortunate that i'm in a business now that is holding its own and i haven't had to spend anything on advertising for quite a few years now because we've worked very hard to you know create the brand let me just get my bearings here before I make a crucial error how far do I need to bring this what am I doing that is the flap that comes back and that look I've got myself all modeled up that's because I'm talking not concentrating and then that was like that. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Which is the top? That's the front. And that will come over. 
and that comes over like that. Is that right? Either way, it works. So that fabric needs to stop pretty much at that crease where I am. Okay, so let's just leave it at that. It's just so soft and pliable that think I need it in there do I because there was a second tuck I, I'm pretty sure I've got this inside out let me just check again something's not right here this is the inside so that comes over like that and this little guy folds in yep okay so I can cut that double check measure twice cut once I can hear my grandmother in my case measure four times you should probably jig it. Just going to cut that through there. That'll be all sealed down so it doesn't have to be a precise snip as long as it's and it's tacky. So that's good. That's grabbed. And then it's just a case of coming along there. But isn't YouTube amazing? Like, when was the last time you turned on free-to-air TV? So, in Australia, Channel 9, 10, 7, ABC. It has been ages. Unless there's a specific um, show, I have not watched free-to-TV, free-to-air TV for a little while now. Now, I need to cut that. And... I don't want to cut it square. Yeah, it's um, YouTube. Like you can just pick a topic and just watch a rabbit hole of videos. So at the moment I'm working through the Queens of England and then I started into the, the Queens and Kings and SARS of Russia and Prussia and like it just went on and on and on. So YouTube is just like dropping into my lap so many videos on random topics. Like um, what we were watching the other day. He's an Australian chap and he's on a motorbike. Million Dollar Bogan he's called. And he travels to different countries on his Harley Davidson filming as he goes. And he did a trip to, can I ride a Harley Davidson to Mount Everest? So he's landed in uh, India, he's hired the bike and then ridden up towards um, Kathmandu, Tibet, you know, through towards the base of the um, Everest. And then the story, you know, sort of follows. Now there's no way on earth I will ever get to these countries. I can just see they're not on my radar to visit, but I'm very intrigued to see, you know, what they're about. How do the people live? What do their houses look like? What, 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 what? Heaps of questions. So to be able to watch this character do that journey is just enthralling. And we're really enjoying it. Okay, so that's, there we go. Now we got it. Now we got it. And because I want to make a pocket in the top here, I will do my decorative stitch around it, then actually, you know, glue it together. But I've got my inside fabric done and my outside fabric. It just needs to dry flat. I've got to stop fiddling with it because the more I fiddle with it, the more that that paper will start lifting away from it. So yeah, I think that's that's really good. So I'm going to pop that one on the ground. Now I wonder if we should consider what we're going to do on the inside of this one. So it was folding. Yeah, so what I'm trying to say is YouTube is just 
really fun to delve into. I think I'm going to put paper on this one. I don't think I'll do fabric like that other one. No, I, I will do fabric because I love the feeling of the fabric on the inside of the journal. So I need something to go inside. Do I do more of the same? I do like that check. Maybe another flip outs. fabric the roses at the front so I'm going to do check on the inside or oh, is there a fabric I could use all right hold 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 is there anything here that could be used on the inside that suits we've already used bird he's out there's this one but it's sort of to me very muddy I don't think it's the right. Do we put the butterflies? Maybe we could use a piece of the butterflies. Oh, hello. Maybe we do something with this because we've got the green, especially if we stay away from the red. Okay, let's have a little look. I forgot my train of thought that I was talking about, so I do apologise if you were intriguedly listening. Let's have a look at this. This this plant here has caught my eye. So maybe I can just insert a piece of it. Maybe we patchwork, we collage. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cut thinking how does that red look with the pink it's just okay I'm going to cut this flower out avoiding the red because I really like that bird so I'm going to Cut that through there. Okay, that's the first element that I really like and I'll just straighten that up a little bit. Yep, there's a little bit of red there, but that's okay. The eye will not notice that. The other element I really like let me glue open here, is this guy. So I'm going to I'm going to cut straight through there. I'm going to come up a little bit. So I've got my two feature pieces. So let's put that fabric away. Look at that little bird. Oh, that's nice fabric. I'm positive this was at Spotlight. Let me just check. I'm pretty sure it's not a motor. Memories by Stitches. Oh, no. Memories by Three Sisters. This is the designer that did my fabric collection that I'm using in my journal of stitchery. Motor Fabrics. What's the actual name of it? Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Albert Einstein. But what's the name of the fabric? Is it further along here? Memories. Oh, memoirs. Not memories. Goodness me. Memoirs. That's the name of the fabric. Memoirs by the designer's three sisters. It's a motor. And I'm sure I bought this at Spotlight. Oh, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure if Motor is at Spotlight. 
don't know. Now I'm doubting what I told you. Hmm. Anyway, at least you've got the name now. It's a beautiful piece of fabric. So let's have a look at this. We might do a bit of collaging. How are we going for time? Mm, we're going to be running out of time. So I really like those elements. Now we got flip outs happening. So I need to be aware that that's flipping out and this will fold in and that'll flip out. So that, that will work. A little bird can definitely be there. Okay, look, um, this is a whole uh, episode in itself, but I've got a plan here for collaging something to go on the inside. And being that we've got flip outs, I'm liking that idea because I then won't need to do too much to this in the way of pockets and things like that because everything um, will be on that flip out away from this collage so I'm going to stop the video here and the next episode I'm going to work on building up the elements to go on the inside and I can feel a needle and thread coming my fingers are getting twitchy I'm going to slow stitch this all down and use that on the inside of the journal It'll be something a little bit special okay Thanks everyone for joining me and I will be back in the next video working on something to go on the inside of here. Okay, thank you. Bye for now.